Hi, and welcome back to the LIGO Learn Introduction to Functional Programming course. In this short video, we are going to go ahead and get a Haskell environment installed on our Windows machine. This will include the GHC compiler as well as some related Haskell tooling. Let's get started. The first thing to do is head on over to haskell.org forward slash GHC up. Click on the button to copy the code which is given in the box on that page. Then open a PowerShell prompt and right click to paste the command. You don't need to open the prompt as an administrator. Press enter to run it and then wait. It took about 20 seconds on my machine before anything happened. So if nothing happens for you, be patient. You will then be prompted with this text explaining that you can install a number of different programs and what the programs are for. We will go ahead and install all of them so that we have a complete installation of the Haskell platform on our system. We press enter to accept the default location of installing on the C drive and then press enter again to accept the default location to install Cabal. We then go ahead and install the optional programs, the Haskell language server as well as stack with these included, you can develop complete Haskell applications with a feature-rich integrated development environment in the future. Wait until the command prompt says that you are all done. I've sped up the entire video showing the installation process because the virtual machine I ran this on had only one CPU and limited memory and took about 25 minutes to install. Hopefully, your installation occurs much faster. The terminal will look like this once everything is done and installed. With everything installed, we can then close the open command prompts and open a new PowerShell instance. In this PowerShell session, we can then see that all of the programs we installed are now available to us. We can run the programs, asking them to tell us which versions they are by adding the dash dash version flag. So we can confirm. We have GHC, which is the glorious Glasgow Haskell compiler, GHCI, which is an interactive version of GHC, and Cabal and Stack, which are both Haskell build tools and package managers. Let's now write our first program. Create a new file and call it hello.hs. Make sure that you are able to see the file extension and that the file does indeed end in .hs and not something else like .txt. .hs is the conventional file name ending used for Haskell files. With the new file created, open it in your text editor. I'm going to use Notepad for this demo here to keep it simple. And write the following code making sure to copy it exactly as is. main equals put strln with the s and l being capital letters. Then there is a space followed by the string hello world enclosed in double quotation marks. Save the file and close it. We are going to compile this Haskell file and run it. Let's open up a PowerShell session so we are in the directory where we saved the file. You can see here that in the current directory there is a hello.hs file which we saved. Then we will run the command ghc space dash o space hello space hello dot hs. The first hello refers to what we want the output files to be named and the second hello dot hs is the source code file we have created which we want to compile. Once it is done, if we check the directory again, we can see that ghc compiled the source file hello dot hs producing an object file hello dot o and an interface file hello dot hi and then linked it together with the inbuilt Haskell libraries to produce the final executable of hello.exe. We can then go ahead and run the executable and it puts the string we asked for on the screen. Although it may not seem exciting to you, you have now gone and compiled your first Haskell program and got everything to run. Congratulations. Another way in which we can run Haskell code is to use GHCI. We can open it by running the GHCI command and then we can enter any valid Haskell code into the prompt. In this case, I'll enter the same hello code I entered in the source code file. And when we call main in the prompt, we get the same code execution and result. Hello world is printed on the screen. You can put any valid Haskell program into the prompt and it would evaluate it. So 2 plus 2 for example. We leave the prompt by typing colon quit and hitting enter. As you just saw, GHCI is much faster at running initial code snippets and for explorative programming, which is what you need when you're learning how to code and so we will mainly be using that for this course, rather than going through the laborious hassle of having to compile code for each small little change we make. That's it for this video. 
Now you have your Haskell environment set up and know how you can use GHC to compile a program or use GHCI to run it interactively. I hope to see you in the next module where you can learn more about functional programming and Haskell.